All right, so today we are going to be taking on the new Infinite Dragon Ball History stage on Global, which is stage 18 versus Giant Ape Power. Now, I believe on JP, this is actually stage 19 because they have one extra stage. But anyways, uh, without further ado, let's jump right into it. And in order to complete all the missions in one run, which is obviously something that you guys know I like to do, you have to include three units from the giant ape power category and also three units that are in giant form. So as such, this is the team we're gonna be using. We got the double int Super Saiyan 4 Gogetas, the uh, three um, giant ape EZAs, the Kid Goku, the uh, AGL Vegeta, as well as the Raditz, and also the uh, Fizz GT Goku and the int GT Vegeta. As far as items go, I will be swapping out the uh, probably Icarus for another healing item just in case we need it. So let's go for Aider, I guess. And uh, yeah, that's a setup. Let's jump in here. Feel free to race me if you guys would like. In three, two, one, let's go. All right, so we are in. I think the plan is to basically do the GT rotations, so probably Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and the Int Vegeta and then Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and the Fizz Goku and I'll just float the uh, three giant ape EZAs. So uh, first enemy is this great ape who is Fizz. So I'ma put Gogeta there. I mean, we have type disadvantage with both the GT guys, but I don't really think it matters too much on this first stage. Uh, so let's give, let's just give three orbs to Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. That's gonna be a nice super for the Vegeta, and then a super for the uh, Great 8 Vegeta as well. Okay, so let's see how hard this stage is. Considering it is the newest uh, Dragon Ball History stage, it should be a little bit more difficult than, you know, the past ones, but at the same time, Generally speaking, Infinite Dragon Ball History is on the easier side when you compare it to like the GT Legendary Goku event or the, uh, you know, Legendary Vegeta event and obviously Extreme Super Battle Road. So I'm not expecting too much resistance, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay, double supers from both Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and the GT Vegeta. That is a pretty solid start, I would say. And this should finish it. There we go. Moving on to enemy number two. Okay, so is it gonna be great apes all across the board until we get to the final stage, which is, I believe, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta? Uh, I'm not really sure. I never checked, so we'll find out. So this guy is AGL. Uh, I definitely don't wanna put Raditz there. And there's only one attack, which is kind of interesting. Um, I'm not really sure how to feel about that. I feel like it's a trap, to be honest, but I guess, I, I, guess, I guess it'll be okay. I, I guess it'll be okay. All right, so let's try to give a good number of orbs to the GT Goku. That's going to be seven, not bad. And uh, let's give these to Raditz. All right, so I'm a little bit concerned about this uh single attack because i feel like it means he hits really really hard otherwise he would have more attacks or maybe we just got lucky with the rng and that's why there's only one attack but yeah i don't trust it i uh i don't trust it so hopefully we can get a crit here and just kill him immediately before he gets a chance to attack us okay no okay <laughs> I, was, I was concerned for nothing <laughs> I was gonna be like, yo, his normal is probably gonna do like 200k or something like that, but no, um, that was pretty, pretty standard. And he has one attack on this turn too, that's kind of weird, why is he only attacking once per rotation? I know it's still early in the event, but I would have expected more, uh, more of a threat, you know? Considering it is the newest 
stage once again. Well, anyways, um, if they want to make it easy for us to get these free stones, then I'm not complaining. We got the Giant Ape Vegeta transformation right here. We'll probably see all three at some point during this during this run. And uh, we can get a super for the first one, at least. That's going to be a super for the second one. And wow, super for the third one as well. That worked out well. Okay. That, oh, um... For a second, I thought maybe we could have gotten a token attack for the Great Ape, but I guess that's not a thing for Giant Ape transformations. I don't know why I didn't realize that. I guess I never really thought about it. Yeah, I never really thought about whether uh, Giant Apes could do token attacks, but then I just realized that the rainbow bar is actually just for the transformation, not for the token attack bar. I just saw the rainbow at the bottom of the screen. I was like, yo, we're getting a token attack. Let's go. So maybe giant apes can get token attacks. Actually, I don't think so. I don't think that's a thing. I don't know, guys. Um, <laughs> clearly, there is a gap in my Dokkan knowledge. This is something I've never thought about. Can transformations get token attacks i'm gonna say no i'm like 80 percent confident in the answer being no but not a hundred percent definitely not a hundred percent anyways let's move on from that let's uh continue <laughs> our run here um defensively it looks like our gt goku is still going to be the best option here even though he has no links with either of the uh, you know, other giant ape guys, but that's okay. Not a big deal. I think he'll he'll, he'll hold up okay um, against at least normals. There we go. 80, 125, no problem. And still a pretty decent attack stat, even for only getting five or six orbs. Additional, no additional there, but very good super from the kid Goku. Um, yeah, we're doing okay. Well, we're doing all right, I would say, man. I mean, we're still only on the third enemy, so it could get a lot harder, but it kind of feels like this is just um, kind of par for the course, I guess, when it comes to infinite Dragon Ball history stages. So we should be able to get through this with no issues. Maybe I'm speaking too soon, but I'm going to try to go for a no item run, guys. We're going to go for a no item run. I think we can do it with this team. I really do. Okay, so we finally got the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and the GT Goku aired up after many, many rotations. And that's going to be 8 orbs for GT Goku. He's looking solid. Um, I'll just give 1 orb to Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and then we'll give these to uh, Kid Goku so we can get that super. Alright, Vegeta, show me what you got. 49. 7.3 mil for the GT Goku. Oh my god. I shouldn't be surprised anymore because I've used him so much. Like, I know what he's capable of, but it still blows my mind when I see these numbers, you know? Especially compared to, like, even the, the newest Dokkan Fest units, right? Like, look at um, Majin Vegeta. Like, Majin Vegeta is great. The new Majin Vegeta is really good. Don't ever take this as me saying that he, you know, is is not good, but... What I'm trying to say is that his offensive potential is just not really um, on the same level, I guess, as this GT Goku. Like, like consistently, this GT Goku will be able to put up more impressive numbers from turn to turn. Although Majin Vegeta on certain turns, especially when you can pop that active skill and get the guaranteed crits, he can hit very, very hard, but you're not seeing attack numbers like this consistently like GT Goku on the right team will consistently put up between 6 to 8 mil per super right and it's just kind of crazy it's just kind of crazy that he's he's you know relatively not old but like not super new either and putting up numbers like this still it's just awesome okay so um, it seems like this Golden Great Ape does not hit nearly as hard as the one from 
the uh what do you call it from the GT legendary Goku event which is good I was a little bit concerned about that because uh I'm used to getting destroyed by the golden great ape so it's good to see that his damage is just you know a lot lower <laughs> than that one from that legendary Goku event and I've really lost track of how many stages we've done so far but I think this is number five which would mean that there's two left there should be two more or maybe just one more there are seven in total I know that for a fact eh, we'll find out soon Okay, so Raditz um, should take him out, and then we can move on to the next stage, which is... Okay, this is number six. There's definitely one more. We're transforming too, which is dope. Okay, so now it's a giant ape, great ape battle. <laughs> Here we go. Um, okay, there's a super for first one that's a second super I do really like the fact that it's not that hard to get supers for these transformations now before it was almost impossible but I think with the EZA they get more key and uh, all you got to do is give them four key which is great and we have type of vanish this time so that's also a good sign um, I don't think we're gonna do that much damage to be honest but it's it's something where we're putting a little bit of a dent into him and we do have one more turn of the transformation as well after this so we should be able to at least get him down like two three health bars wow so many additionals too uh before we um go back revert okay so yeah there you go another super another super and another super for the third one so just you know supers across the board for all these transformations it's very refreshing, man. It's it's very good to see. Like before, I remember when you got the transformation, you were basically expecting just to do normal attacks, and it kind of felt like a waste. Cause what's the point? Like you're taking no damage, but you're doing no damage too, so it's not really like helping you that much, right? Okay. Um. Yeah, yeah. Getting a lot of attacks. Oh, third. Wait a second. That was the third turn that we stayed transformed how many turns can you get is it is like a is it like random is it rng like two to three turns or yeah i'm confused because we we aren't using tapion as the leader if we had tapion as the leader then it would make sense but we don't so now i'm kind of confused about why we had three turns of this kid goku transformation i mean it's a good thing I'm not mad about it, I'm just like, kinda confused. And we're getting so many additional supers too, we're basically gonna take them out with these um, great apes. Okay, so finally reverting back, and I believe just one super will do it from the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. If not though, Vegeta will definitely finish him off, but good job. Yo, standing ovation for the Fizz Kit Goku for putting in some work, man with that giant ape transformation. I mean, that was impressive. That was impressive. Okay, so now we should be facing Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta as expected. Uh, it is the int. I mean, technically it's the int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta art, but it's actually a Fizz Gogeta we're facing. And I'm gonna take this opportunity to actually pop this active skill because uh, I never get to see it, guys. <laughs> I never get to see this animation, so let's get it. Here we go. A very rare occurrence for sure for GT Goku owners because the conditions are awful. And honestly, it doesn't do that much damage, so it's not really even worth the wait. <laughs> the animation's cool, though. The animation is very cool, don't get me wrong. It's just like, I don't know, for how hard it is to get that um, active skill to proc, you would have liked them to make it do more damage, right? But it's okay. At least it looks cool. Okay, 7.3 for GT Goku. I'm hoping if we get super, definitely want to be supering this guy as opposed to my int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Although Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta could 
potentially get the dodge counter. Um, unless this guy ca uh, cancels counters, which I did not look up, so I don't, I don't really know. Maybe he does cancel counters, which would probably suck a lot. Additional super is good. Additional super is good. Yeah, um... I don't know, guys. Maybe he will cancel our dodge, which could put us in some trouble. Oh, no. I'm a little bit worried about this Superman. You know, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. Could have been worse. Definitely could have been worse. I'm still sticking to uh, no items. Okay, we're still going to no item this for sure. Actually, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> we got two int guys on this rotation. If we take another super like that, we'll be dead. So... Yeah, screw it. Let's pop the Princess Nick. Let's pop the Princess Nick. I wanted to no item, but I, I, I don't want to take the risk having made it this far into the event. Um, we just have too many int units on this team. Uh, so, you know. What can you do? And even with the Princess Snake, we're taking double digits. So yeah, if we had gotten supered again um, on that first rotation or on that first slot, I think we would have died. So I think that was actually a pretty smart call on, on my end <laughs> to use that item and uh, just avoid the risk that uh, a potential super would have presented. Okay, so we got the token attack here. Um, hopefully we get the effective against all. Or we get a crit, that's even better. That's even better. And Vegeta, a crit would be nice here too, but not necessary. And that's okay. That's fine. As you can see, taking very little damage, even with the type disadvantage. And no super, which is also awesome. And Raditz, of course, the one that would have done, would have done the most damage, gets, gets dodged. It is what it is. That's how it goes. Um, ooh, okay. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I'm going to pop the active skill here. And get that nice boost. I think it's attack plus 50%. Wait, no, attack and, and defense, right? I think it's attack and defense plus 50%. Let me just be sure, though, because I don't want to... Look stupid here. Oh, 40%. My bad. Attack and defense plus 40%. Uh, with that, I feel pretty safe with him. So I'm going to give 7 orbs to my GT Goku. I'm going to give these to Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. And then we can get a nice super for the Kid Goku as well. Uh-oh. Oh man, this could be a bad time. Okay, okay, okay. Get Goku. Gets to attack. So we should be fine after this. Additional super. Amazing. Yeah, when I saw those normals, I was like, oh my god. If we're taking this much damage from normals, then what would a super do to us? Very bad things. A super would have done very bad things if we hadn't had a chance to attack first. Now it's going to be okay. Um, you know, like, not amazing. <laughs> it's, it's not amazing that we're taking 200k, but or even close to 300k. But if we had taken a super before we had a chance to attack, um, it would have been game over. It would have been game over. So, yeah. This Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is no joke, man. The final boss is tough. This is a tough final boss. Like, everything up until the final boss, not bad. You know, very, very chill. But this final boss is a monster. That's a fact. And I'm going to just play it safe here. We're going to pop a Princess Snake. And... Uh, oh, you know what? Let's go for this first. Once again, a very rare sighting for GT Goku and GT Vegeta owners. So whenever I'm able to use these active skills that look amazing by the way I'm gonna do it I have to do it it's gonna do no damage but <laughs> it's worth it you know so yeah we're gonna do the double active skills definitely gonna give uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta as much defense as he possibly can get 
and I feel fairly safe now. So yeah, let's uh, give these to Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. That's gonna be seven orbs for the Vegeta, and then a super for the Great Ape Vegeta as well. I think we'll be okay now. Because we have the Princess Snake, 30% damage reduction. We also have the additional defense from his active skill. So, I believe we're good to go, even if we get supered. The thing that sucks is we did lose our guaranteed um, effective against all. I think it's only a high chance now. So, we're not doing nearly as much damage as we could be doing. So, it might just take one more attack here. Or one more rotation, rather, to get him out of here. Or, never mind. D d great 8 foot. Oh, never mind. I thought Vegeta was going to do the thing. But, no, that's fine. You know what? We're going to give the glory. We're going to give the glory to <laughs> Raditz. Of all people, Raditz is going to be the one to finish things here. So, get it Raditz. Yo, you, you deserve more love in this game. So, I'm giving you that love right now. Uh oh. We were taking quite a bit from the normals there. So I'm, okay, we're fine. We're fine. I got, I got a little nervous. I got a little nervous, I gotta be honest. But there you have it. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta done. And, the stage is also done. Um, I gotta say though, I gotta say though, this final boss was a challenge, man. He's a beast. Don't sleep on the final boss Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta on this event, and you should be good. Um, otherwise, everyone else, you know, is, is pretty chill. Everyone else is pretty standard. It's just that one guy that made me a little nervous, <laughs> I gotta say. So we should have all the missions cleared now. Let me just collect my rewards. Okay. There you go, 23 stones plus the one for completing the stage. So 24 in total for this new Infinite Dragon Ball History stage versus Giant 8 Power. Once again, stage 18 on Global, stage 19 on JP. And uh, that's the video, guys. I don't know what my actual time was. I missed it. Let me, let me just quickly check. I think it was like 20 minutes-ish. Um, records. Yeah, 20 minutes, 21 seconds. This guy was modding. This guy was modding. These guys were all modding. Yo, these guys were all modding. What the heck? There's no way. Okay, maybe some of these guys were not modding. I think I think if you're like over 10 minutes, you're probably fine. But I think this guy was probably modding. Maybe. Or he got really lucky, I guess. It, it is possible. Maybe not. <laughs> it just seems kind of crazy to me, man, that you finished it in 6 minutes and 30 seconds. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments if you think. Like, I know for a fact these assignments wasn't. I know for a fact that, like, Mass Ningen wasn't, but the number one guy on my friends list, man, 6 minutes, 37 seconds seems kind of sus. It seems kind of sus. I gotta be honest. Uh, yeah, let me know your opinions. What do you guys think about that time? Anyways, my time was 20 minutes, 21 seconds. Maybe I was talking too much. Uh, that's always usually the problem, but... Anyways, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys uh, enjoyed the run. Enjoy this wallpaper, which is literally my favorite wallpaper in the game. It's just glorious, man. And I kind of like the placement of the start button because I don't have to stare at Vegeta's package all day as well, which is also a good thing. <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.